With growth and the ongoing threat of climate change, providing water to the driest region in the UK poses a challenge. Addressing this is Anglian Water's Strategic Pipeline Alliance, a huge infrastructure project in the region. A network of pipes will enable the flow of water from wetter areas to those at risk of drought, providing water security for the future. Longer than the M1, longer than phase one of the HS2 rail link, hundreds of kilometers of interconnected network makes up the Strategic Pipeline Alliance, or SPA, it's been designed to have the lowest carbon footprint possible while helping to keep the taps running for customers in the south and east. We have to plan uh, water supplies for the whole region well into the future. And what you're seeing is a massive investment to bring water where we've got surplus up in the north down into the east and south of our region to make sure that we can fulfill all our customers' needs now and well into the future. Historically, our distribution system, which allows us to provide clean drinking water to all our customers, we've never had the ability to move bulk water around the region to meet the varying demands. We are now starting to become the national grid of the east of England in our ability to manage water in the future. These specially coated pipes will last for over a hundred years. They've been welded and they're being rested before going into the ground. When they are, in a few months, there'll be nothing left here apart from a pumping site and this land will go back to farming. When it comes to how the network will be used, it's about smarter choices. The way that we have been able to optimise our system is through our digital twin, which is a digital representation of our physical assets so we are able to run through various scenarios and work out the best way to optimise how to get the water from A to B. Through these real-time scenarios we're able to optimise the amount of water required and also the amount of energy which obviously in turn saves water and carbon and the traditional method to commission a pipeline like this would be to fill the pipe four to five times of highly chlorinated water. It would require 1.5 billion litres of water, which is obviously water we don't have, and also it's very hard to dispose of water safely into the environment. So the innovative solution that SPA and its supply chain partners came up with is actually using an innovative process of compressed air, which moves small bodies of water through the air is much better for the environment and helps to prevent water wastage. Whether it's clean water coming through pipes from up north or wastewater being treated on site, Anglian Water wants to make sure nothing is wasted. We're in Bury St Edmunds today and this is the UK's largest single unit greenhouse. It produces 22 million uh, peppers in any one season. So that helps with sustainable uh, food production. In this project, Anglian Water provides the, the waste heat and that's a natural byproduct of the water recycling processes from nearby water recycling centres. It's a great sustainable energy source to heat these greenhouses and this reduces the need for carbon intensive energy processes. In fact, it cuts carbon emissions associated with growing the crop by around 75%. This is a great way to assist with getting us to net zero carbon by 2030 and that's very much needed to solve the carbon challenge in front of us all. Driving the commitment to sustainable low carbon processes and climate resilience is at the heart of Anglian Waters research. One of the ways we can balance and we can get that net zero um, goal is to potentially produce more renewable energy that we, than what we already produce. We could rely less on grid electricity and reduce the emissions associated with the use of electricity, but also the direct emissions to atmosphere. So this project is quite innovative. I think it's probably the first of its kind in, in England, so we're quite excited to see the results of, of this.